Very Profitable Trading Strategy with Best Indicators? Today, I will be backtesting the Very Profitable Trading Strategy created by Quant Capital. This strategy claimed to have made 80% win rate. As we always do, to make sure the results are authentic, we will be backtesting it 200 times with an account size of $1,000 as we would be risking 1% of our account size on each trade. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe, as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Without wasting much of the time, let's jump into it. Okay guys, for this strategy, we will be using the Euro United States Dollar. And we are in the 5 minutes time frame. So let's quickly go over the indicators we will be using for this strategy. For the first indicator, go ahead and bring up the indicator panel. I want you to search for the STD filtered and pole Gaussian filter by LOX. We will be using this indicator to identify the possible trend in the market. Now for the second indicator, search for the Heiken Ashi RSI oscillator by J. Rogers. Now, this Heiken Ashi candles in an oscillator format, derived from RSI calculations, aimed at smoothing out some of the inherent noise seen with standard RSI indicators. We will be using this indicator to support our main trend filter indicator, as the STD cannot deliver solid results. And for the final indicator, search for the RSI past can turn RSI into a directional tool. This one made by TradeStation. So we have our chart looking like this. Now let's quickly adjust the settings for these indicators to better work in the market. Go ahead and double click on the STD filtered indicator. On the style, untick the long and short option. Then click on the OK button when you are done. Now for the second indicator, double click on the Heiken Ashi RSI. On the input panel, change the open smoothing to 7. Then on the style, I want you to untick the RSI shadow, RSI overlay, and stochastic case shadow. When you are done, click on the OK button to fully apply the settings. Now for the last indicator, we won't be touching any of its settings, as we would be leaving it on its default settings. Okay guys, now we are equipped with our settings, let's go over the rules of using this indicators. The STD will be filtering our trades to better identify our long and short entry. This indicator will identify the main trend in the market, as our secondary indicators would help filter the confirmation from our primary indicator. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Now moving on. For a buy trade to be valid, we need to have a new signal from our STD filter indicator. As we would want to see the moving average change from red to green as our first confirmation. Then we would be checking our other two indicators. As we would want to see our RSI passed on green while also having the Harsi on green, and the bar should be below the medium line. But most often, we don't have the bar below the medium line, so we wouldn't take trades if the bar is more than the 5.5 threshold line. And we see we met all our conditions here, as we can see that the STD filtered indicator changed from red to green at this point. And we can see we have the RSI passed on green as well. Then also notice our Harsi is confirming our entry. So we would go ahead and enter a buy trade at this candlestick. Our stop loss at the recent swing low, while the take profit levels are at 1.5 times the risk. And we see it was successful. Here is another valid buy signal we would be taking. So we see we met all our conditions here as well, as we have the STD change to green, and also we can see the Harsi is below the 5.5 threshold mark, and we can also see the RSI passed is on green. So we would be taking this trade as well. And we could see it was successful. 
please note that we would be taking trade if the STD and Harsey align at the same time, as we would not want to wait on any of the indicators. And the strategy is easy to follow. Just focus on the RSI past. As when we have it on green, then we would only be taking bullish trades if the STD and Harsey confirms an open entry. And when it's on red, we would be taking only bearish trades if our conditions are met. Now exactly the opposite is true for a short entry. For a sell trade to be valid, we need to have a new signal from our STD filter indicator. As we would want to see the moving average change from green to red as our first confirmation. Then we would be checking our other two indicators. As we would want to see our RSI passed on red while also having the Harsi on red, and the bar should be above the medium line. But most often, we don't have the bar above the medium line, so we wouldn't take trades if the bar is more than the minus 5.5 threshold line. And we see we met all our conditions here, as we can see that the STD filtered indicator changed from green to red at this point. And we can see we have the RSI passed on red as well. Then also notice our Harsi is confirming our entry. So we would go ahead and enter a sell trade at this candlestick. Our stop loss at the recent swing high, while the take profit levels are at 1.5 times the risk. And we see it was successful. Here is another valid sell signal we would be taking. So we see we met all our conditions here as well, as we have the STD change to red, and also we can see the Harsi is below the minus 5.5 threshold mark, and we can also see the RSI passed is on red. So we would be taking this trade as well. And we could see it was successful. Let's take one more trade before we start with the back testing. So we see we have our conditions met here, as we can see we have our STD change to red as our first confirmation. And we also have the RSI passed on red as well. Notice we also got the Harsi confirming the trade. So we would go ahead and enter a sell order at this candlestick. And we can see it was successful. Okay traders, let's now quickly back test the strategy, as we would be going over 200 back tested trades, with an account size of $1000, as we risk 1% of our account size on each trade. Let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see the results are not near the 80% claim. We see we had a win rate of 55%. Having won 111 trades and lost 89 trades, which made a 77% return on investment. Although not a high win rate strategy, we still managed to squeeze out profits from the strategy, so I would generally say it's a good strategy to use. And I found those trade setups within 5 months. Although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading because it was not included in the back test. So you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. Also consider the profit factor for this strategy as it is not really that great. We had 5 wins in a row against 6 losses in a row. So yeah, traders, you can give this strategy a try and make sure you do the proper back testing and forward testing before trading live. By the way, if you have any strategy you would like to try out, please let us know on the comment section. Also, feel free to check out my other videos on our channel.
I have playlists with different strategies and indicators that will definitely make you a profitable trader. All I ask for in return is to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it is absolutely free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.